What's up guys, I'm back with another DIY video. Today I'm gonna to show you how I figured out that my dishwasher was not dispensing the rinse aid and how I fixed it. How to fix if your dishwasher is not releasing your rinse aid. Okay, so four years ago, I bought this machine and I filled it up one time and it has never emptied this thing out. It just hasn't. And I thought that was kind of weird. I thought it was having problems. And then I fixed it. If you'll notice, there's a little bit of rinse aid right here. Why? Because I fixed it. So the thing is that it wasn't actually broken. It was mostly user error. So stay tuned to the rest of the video if you want to find out why that is. But if you just want to fix it, I'm going to show you how this works. Long story short, if you don't know which one it's in, take a listen. That was soft. So right there, it released the rinse aid. So that's that's good because the next time I go ahead and put the main wash in there, it's gonna release main wash. You hear the loud click, and then it's going to release the rinse aid. The thing is, you do not want to get into a reverse cycle because if it's in the wrong cycle, when it goes to release the main wash, like so. Say we had left it in that position, so we left it in position one. Whenever it goes to run position one, it just ran position two and released the rinse aid instead of releasing just the main wash. I mean, this thing's gonna open regardless of which position it's in, right? So that doesn't really matter. I think that's like a fail safe, but you wanna make sure that it's in the correct position. So soft click, loud click, soft click. So you want to leave it after the soft click, right? Loud click, soft click, and boom, you're done. That's it, that's how you fix it. Now if you guys wanna see why I discovered that or how, keep watching. All right guys, I took apart my dishwasher specifically because the detergent dispenser and the, this little guy right here, Notice how sometimes when it goes up, it releases that, which releases your rinse aid. But other times, it goes all the way up and does nothing. And then it clicks into place, and now it's primed to release your rinse aid. So when you hear that click, it clicks again and now it's gonna release. So it clicks, clicks again, again, release. So if you guys have been messing with this, like I think I did, I think I had closed it for whatever reason, and then maybe opened it, and I had released it. So whenever it went to open, it released the rinse aid during the wash, and not during the second phase. Because then in the second phase, it did this right here and didn't release the rinse aid when it was supposed to. So, if you guys will listen for click, click, then it's release, then let go. Right? Because, I mean, so that you guys don't have to take yours apart. Listen for click, click, release. Right? So that, that takes a total of two two of these pushes. So when you push, you're gonna hear the click, let it go, you hear the click, you push one more time, you know that it's lifted that lever because it didn't click when you went up or when you went down. So that's the position you wanna release it in and it will, from then on, be in the correct cycle. 